Hey, what's up guys? How's everybody doing? This is Ray. I'm a little bit under the weather guys. But got the camera, want to make the video. Two things I want to talk about. Have great piece of software that I want to show you. And I want to discuss my Yamahas. I got them about a month ago. These are the HS50Ms. They do look like the NS10, right guys? These are supposed to be the replacements. I'm not going to get too too much into that. You know, compare these speakers to the NS10s. You want to do that, go to the forums, read, you'll find your answer. Now, some of you that have been following me for a while know I had the Carcase RP5s. Got tired of those speakers. I did understand them. I got to, I got to learn them. I know my room pretty well. So my mixes, they were coming out, they were coming out good. After eight, nine revisions. Now with these, seriously, I'm nailing my mix like on the first try. Of course, I walk away, come back, I do my tweaking. Now, this is the way I have my setup. I got my Yamahas. I have another amplifier with the surround sound speakers. Then I have what I, what I call the club speakers. Those are the big giant speakers with the 15 inch woofer. Have a set of those that I play in reference. Then I use my TV and then I use the OKR case. That's just my thing. So I adjust every time through all of the speakers. You know, even if I have these, as as good as they are, and balancing is great with these speakers, I, you gotta hook up everything, even the old crappy, these old. Let me see if I can show them to you. These old crappy uh, headphones, you know, hook them up and you make adjustments, and that's gonna help you get the best mix possible. You wanna get translating, you wanna put it in your car, and you want it to sound the same way it comes out of these, you know. Now the Caracase weren't really doing that. Now another thing, if you're gonna get these, gotta get a subwoofer. Gotta get a sub. Very, very important. You know, I don't use it all the time. Once in a while when I'm mixing, I'll turn it on just to see what's going on. Then I'll just shut it off. Now another thing, these speakers could be fatiguing at times, but mix at low volumes. You know, I'll blast it when somebody's here, you know, the client's here, so I'll just crank it up. But when I'm mixing, very low volumes, well, not too low, you know. And that's the way I do my thing. Now, again, I still use my Caracase once in a while. Let me show you the Caracase, hold on. All right, here are the Caracase. What I did with these, I, I gave them to my wife. She's using them on her computer. But I have a network drive, and once in a while, I'll send away file to the network hard drive I'll pull it up on my wife's computer and I'll listen to it here and I'll see how the mix is translating but anyway guys let me show you what I got on the computer all right guys here we go this is what I wanted to show you guys dropbox.com you gotta go there now found this on the website and I thought the idea was pretty cool so let me break it down to you guys now in my home studio I have a network drive I have about four computers here, so any of the computers have access to that drive. I could just drop files and access it through any of the computers here in the studio. Now, this is the same thing. The only thing, you could do it outside of the network. It could be anywhere. It could be outside with your laptop. It could be on vacation. And as long as the folder is active on the laptop or whatever computer you're using, your files are there. You can use your files. It's like having an FTP server. You just don't have to go through the mess. Now, the thing is, they have a free version, and that's what I'm using. It's only two gigabytes. Now, you have to check out the paid version. So, go check that out. But let me show you how this works. Once you register, you install it. You're going to get a little shortcut like this, Dropbox. You're going to have one here. Now, you go into it. By double clicking now you're gonna have a couple of things here over here I have applications photos and public now let me go into public I really have nothing I have a backup I have a couple of things in the backup a couple of personal things now over here I have a picture of me and my lady now let's say I wanted to send it to somebody and I didn't want them to have access to the Dropbox so what I would do I will right click go to Dropbox Copy public link. And there you go. You just give that link to the individual. 
Now, on your computer, let's say I was on my laptop and I wanted to access all my files. I just double click and first install it. Double click and all your files will be there the same way you know, you organized it. Now, the other thing, you could do it through the website too. You could go to the dropbox.com, log in, and it has a web based application, which is pretty cool. Now, let me show you. Now, once you send that link, just type the, the link, hit OK, and there you go. You get the picture. Pretty cool, right? And, you know, the person could try to browse your Dropbox. It won't allow it. So, it's pretty cool. Well, guys, this is Rain. Let me know what you think. Subscribe, comment below. Later, guys.